Hi guys, my name is Alarasis and I am playing Insanity Flesh. Today I will be making a guide. I'm gonna show you how to make a whole bunch of money in this game. If you are someone that just started playing this game and you don't have a lot of funds to, you know, make a character that is really, really, really expensive and that can do cove or something like that. I'm gonna show you how to make money with an Arcanist or any other AoE class and um, when you start from scratch. Okay, here we go. So first let me tell you that um, I love playing this game and uh, if you wanna support me, you can do so by sending me stuff or money in game and I will reward you with a video dedicated to you. All right, let's get started. The first thing you will need is a class that can do AOE. So in this case, this is going to be an Arcanist, a Mentalist, or a Seraph. I don't think there. I think that Arcanist is probably the fastest, the fastest class to AOE and the best class. But the other two, they're just beneath it. So if you if you think that um, a Seraph is cooler, or that you want to use him later to heal yourself and stuff like that, um, or if you think that a Mentalist is cool, cooler because he's kind of dark. Then I think it's I think it doesn't even matter which one you pick. Okay, let's talk about the equipment. Oh yeah, right, and also about um, the Arcanist um, and about the character in in general. It has to be level three hundred for you for in order for you to do what I'm gonna show you how to do. And um, I already made an awesome guide um, on how to get to level 300, and you can find that in the guide section of my of my videos on my YouTube page. YouTube page. Uh. All right, <laughs> let's look at the equipment. Um, so to farm as a, an AOE class, um, to farm a lot of money, you're not going to need any special equipment. So let's see what I have here. I have a normal golden staff. A legendary golden staff which you can buy from I'm in Flaris here as you guys can see this is central Flaris and I'm at the blacksmith and you go to this guy and you go to goods and you buy that ultimate legendary golden staff or whatever you need if you're an assist for instance you buy that ultimate legendary golden stick and um, you can use any type of jewelry it doesn't matter which type it is look check it out I have these dem demo earring you're not even upgraded you don't need all of that and um, then you get a normal level 105 set which you can buy here I think yeah you buy the level 105 set here and it's really cheap anyone can afford it and then um, you get a CS set. You can either use the CS set that you got when you started this game, but it's gonna expire after 15 minutes, 15 days or something like that, I think. Or you just go to the fashion shop and you get a really nice set here, something that you like. Maybe that Indian guy, I don't know. It doesn't even matter which one you get. Alternatively, you can get a set from, um, from voting by boat points, boat point set gives you extra bonuses. And then you get, um, you, you keep those wings or you get any other wings or mask. And then you get a cloak. Let's talk about the cloak a little bit. You can get a cloak, any, any type of cloak that you want. You can buy one over there. Or what you also can do is you can get this cloak of honor. Let's check it out. Where did I get this cloak of honor, honor from? You actually get it from boating from vote points. How do vote points work? You go to the website and you log in with your with your ID and shit and your <laughs> password and then you can click vote and you can vote for insanity flight. And if you do so, you will get five vote points per vote and I think you need, um, I don't know, 100 vote points or something for the Cloak of Honor and no, not that much. I don't remember, it doesn't even matter. And this, it's very special because it gives you a lucky box plus one. And that means that the drops will be a lot better. Okay, so that's the basic set. Um, and you also you also want to get a, a pet here. I think it's here. You can buy a pet here. You just pick any, they're very cheap, like six million pick any pet 
and you also want to have a pet from the pet tamer so you're gonna need an egg and if you don't have an egg um, you can just ask people to give you one or or you can um, it, it should have dropped while you were leveling up or I don't know if you can actually buy a, an egg somewhere Whew. Yeah. I'll have to check it out yes you can buy an egg so I recommend that you do that it's very cheap it costs one million here and um, and um, I'm gonna buy this one here I'm gonna show you really quickly now you have that egg and you can raise it it just you just spawn it now it's spawned and then you wait for that XP bar to go to 100 percent and then you go back to the pet tamer and you exchange it for a pet basically let's delete that and then you get a pet like this one and this pet gives me int plus four but it doesn't even matter maybe your pet gives you stamina or it gives you attack power it doesn't matter we just have the pet for the awakes of this item and the same thing goes for the pickup pet it's only for picking up stuff and for the awakes and so is the rest of our um, of our equipment here it's just for the awakes the next thing you're gonna do is you are going to buy some awakening scrolls here at the Smiths and some the same amount of unawakening scrolls what are they called scroll of reversion all right and I'm gonna show you what you're gonna do with those let's do it let's leave let's leave this place let's jump around come on let's go let's go let's go I want to leave <laughs> I can't get through I can't get through oh my god all right that's better let's stand next to this guy hi okay so we are going to awaken I'm not gonna do this because I did it already but as you guys can see the green stuff at the very bottom of the items um, here I'm showing you are actually our awakes and um, in order to be, a, to be an arcanist and to be successful um, at grinding and at making money um, I'm gonna show you where to grind later and where to get a lot of money you are going to need certain things you want um, these types of awakes you want intelligence you want stamina you want decreased casting time and um, speed those four things what is decreased casting time if I'm casting a spell here let me show you guys if I'm casting a spell here then it takes a certain amount of time for me to cast it again it's like I cast it now and now and if you have DCT a high amount of DCT here decreased casting time then that period is going to be shorter and you will be able to cast those spells faster that means you will be able to make more money in a shorter time all right so DCT this is very important DCT caps at 120 percent maybe it shows more here I don't know if that is the case but it may show 130 here but it caps at 120 you can't get more than 120 so I would aim for 120 or slow slightly below that with your awakes so let me show you guys where I have DCT for instance here decreased casting time 7% DCT 20% that awake is really good and all of these awakes have been have been achieved with normal awakening scrolls I didn't use any unique awakening scrolls okay what's the next awake speed why would you want speed because you're going to be grinding on uh, the money farming island and there's lots of mobs there but you need to be running around and the, and the faster you run around the faster you will be able to gather those mobs and the faster you will be able to make money so what's the maximum speed I think it's 250 these days so but you're not going to get that high anyway with normal awakes so you just you just uh, you just find speed somewhere and you're like oh that's not bad it's not bad speed good I'll take it um, and then the rest is int and stamina right so you just you just I'm gonna show you the wakes I have here I have a lot of int that's good I'm very satisfied with that it's, it's like more than 30 int that's good here I have int and stamina it also adds up to 30 that's good here I have DCT and int that's also good here I have DCT and DCT that's very good here I have a lot of speed and some stamina that's very good here I have some stamina and int. It's not that good, but it's, it's acceptable. And here I have stamina, 
speed and DCT, which is very good. And here I have, well, 10% speed. This one I could reawake if I wanted to. And here I have DCT 8%, 8%, which is very good. Here I have speed 12% and stamina 14, which is kind of okay. Here I have stamina and stamina. And here I have DCT stamina and speed 5%. This one is very nice. Stamina, stamina, int speed, that's okay. Speed and speed, very good. And int and int. All right, so I think the ones that are worth most are um, speed and DCT. The int is gonna give you some additional damage, but it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really change a thing. And of course you have to put awakes also on your pets. So here we go. We have decreased casting time, ad hoc 17% and stamina on this one. And we have decreased casting time, 10% and stamina 13. So depending on how much money you have, I would recommend that you work on those awakes for I don't know if you if have, if you have little money then for half an hour and if you have a lot of money maybe for two hours and you're gonna get nice awakes and they're really gonna help you go for DCT 120 percent go for as much speed as you can get and the rest is int and stamina let's look at the items you are going to use to do some successful grinding and getting some a whole bunch of money you are going to use um, I recommend getting one of those 15 day Coral Island tickets. They're going to take you to Coral Island, which gets you to a buff pang. And that means that you can teleport to anywhere you want with that. Okay. Then I would recommend that you get, um, um, let's see, you are going to get a scroll of acquisition because that is going to ensure that you get a little bit better drops and you're not that expensive and last for an hour. You get some of those to use and then you guess, get um, some activations. You need those because these activations, what they do is they will keep that, um, what is it called? That round thing here, the power slot, it's called action slot. It's going to keep it open because uh, if you don't have that, it's going to, you're going to be able to use four after a while then three after a while only and then two and it's going to be slower. So you want that activation. You buy a couple of those. Then you buy some restats to use the restat buck. I'm going to show you that later how it works. I have some restats here already. Then I would say you buy a couple of scroll of resurrections because at the money farming island where we're going to go later, if you die, you have to leave the money farming island and the ticket costs 100 million penya. Okay. And then of course you get an upcut stone. Upcut stones are important. You get some of those like here. I have some, you get refresher holds so that you don't lose your MP all the time and um, scroll of blessing. No one really needs that. And that's that, that's it. And then, what you also want to do is if you level to level 300 using my guide you are already going to be you're already going to be an owner of some red chips so red chips right what are we going to do with the red chips we're going to buy some of we're going to buy lord's cheer we're going to buy a couple of these lord's cheers they also give you a higher drop rate and they're also going to last you for um an hour buy some of those they're awesome um no, you don't need that. You can buy some love chocolate, but no, don't do it because they're so expensive. Don't buy any of these. But what you really need to buy is the grilled eel and the gingerbread. So the grilled eel and the gingerbread. Why are we going to buy those? I already have them in my inventory and I'm going to show you why you really need to buy those. Okay, so unique awake scrolls. That's nice. Scroll of holy whatever that is go away okay so that's that now I'm gonna show you what else you're gonna need to do some awesome grinding here so for grinding you are also going to need a pet that picks up stuff and we already bought that in this case I have this Weeman pet here um, it's really cool I think and um, in order to configure it to pick up the stuff that that um, the mobs drop, you press U on the keyboard, 
and then the things you want to check is moons and suns because you can sell them for a lot of money then percent cards stat cards element upgrade cards this you don't have to use those i i pick them up because i collect them to sell them later or to use them and then what you want is well armors and shields well rune sockets yes and then you want questies they're not going to drop questies there but questies are always good um then you want pet beads whatever you don't want that buff items you want and red chips you want of course so that's awesome all right let's talk about the party you have a pretty decent character now it didn't cost a lot of money you just started out and now you are going to need a party why do you need a party because there's a certain skill in a party which is called um, linked attack and that's going to give you double the damage so you do want to look for a party with um, some points and that has seven players in it and whatever you just choose one and you join and then it's going to say the effect of linked attack is about to end blah 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 gift box so now you're in that party and you can't be really sure if the if the if the um if the skills are on and you don't only want the the linked attack you also want fortune drop and gift box because that's going to give you better drops so what you do is you go to the party chat here and you say our skills are on and they're going to tell you if the skills are on or not that's how it works let's see what what they say <laughs> and or if they don't say anything you just have to try what you that you have to know what your base damage is on the mobs you're killing and then you'll find out right and then you'll see if you have double the damage then that's what you got okay next thing we're going to talk about is the restat bug what is the restat bug the restat bug is a bug that allows you to have more hp without doing anything else so first of all we are going to get the normal buffs let's see get buffed bam okay now i have the normal buffs and now let me show you what the restat bugs restat bug is okay i got my pets out and stuff that's good where's my fox my fox is an egg <laughs> that's funny okay so let me show you now i have 190k life hp which is not a lot but i'm full int now that's the reason why i don't have a lot of int a lot of shut up okay so now i'm going to restat and i'm going to go full stamina if you're doing this do exactly the same thing as i do and now i have 600,000 bamski here okay hp and now i use the grilled eel that gives you 50 percent more stamina and now i use the gingerbread it gives you some 25 percent more hp now i have a million that's a lot right but now i'm really weak because i don't have int whatever i'm gonna whoops i'm gonna restart bam and now i have 500,000 base hp which is more than i would have had i just used these items here and now I go back to full int because I love being full int. And I say yes. And now I have 500,000 HP. That is what you are going to use to fight in this game. All the time for boss mobs and for everything else. Also, as you guys can see, the party skills are now on. You need all three of those skills. All right, here's another tip. If you have um, if you have a computer that is strong enough to open two windows, which you can just achieve by opening another window of Insanity Flift, just click the game again, it's going to open another window. You can log in another character, and uh, then you can actually propose to this character by pressing O, and motion will open, and then you have this thing here. Then you click your character, let's say that is the character, and you propose to him. You must target another player, all right? And then you, you, you have to be online for 21 hours or something like that at the same time as this guy that you propose to. And then you will get extra drop rates, extra attack rate and extra stuff from that, which is gonna make you better at grinding and make you better at um, earning money through grinding. You are now officially a noob that did not spend a lot of money on on his equip and you are ready to get some awesome grinding done and to make a lot of money
so now the question um, the question remains where are we going to fight right so I'm gonna show you the best place to fight and then I'm gonna show you some other places that are not as good <laughs> right so what's the best pl the best um, the best spot to fight to get a lot of money so you go to any buff pen you trade him and you're gonna find a forgotten island blink wing it says a blink wing to the Pena only farming area um, that is um, level 300 shit okay so we buy it it costs 100 mil so that's not it's not nothing right and we just blink there we just do it we just go oh and you can also get ringmaster buffs before you do that <laughs> I forgot to do that now or which is also very much recommended you can bring your own ringmaster because he's got he can also help you pick up stuff and then you will be able to to get more money okay so let's check it out this is the money farming island and there's some level 150 monsters oh i'm so weak <laughs> okay and what what is please wait i'm not gonna wait come on jesus christ that's ridiculous stop it okay so we don't want the 150 monsters we're gonna go over there and we're gonna cross that bridge see you on the other side all right we are on the other side and here is a whole bunch of monsters level 300 and they are going to drop 600k pena each so almost a million 600k pena each okay so this is the best spot to make money in the whole game all right i actually tested this with this character and this newbie equipment that is easily assembled in, in a very short time and um, also i only used uh, this pet and this pet with it and um, the items that you guys can see here including this romantis that will also drop from these monsters and you will get eight parent of cash from one hour grinding that's what i got and um, you will also get some sunstones you will get some moonstones you're gonna get some boxes and some keys and some romantis and you can sell that stuff and you're gonna get approximately 10 parin per hour 10 parin per hour in total that is a lot and you you can that means that if you would grind on one day for 10 hours you would actually get 100 parent a day if you can get, do that much grinding back in the days in the old flip we used to grind for 10 hours a day and that means that you can get in in a week you could do 700 parent and 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 in a month you could you could do 3000 parent isn't that awesome you guys how you could get 3000 parent in a month from doing this only all right, you guys, I think you should start grinding with your Arcanist or other AoE class. Kinder, isn't that chocolate? Kinder, Kinder, Guild. Cool. Sure, you can join my stream. Uh, I mean, <laughs> Guild. Here we go. We should do a Guild event or something like that. You guys have any ideas for Guild events? You can PM me right now. Is there like a boss that you can do together as a guild? A guild boss? I don't think so, right? I think there is no boss for guilds. Wasn't there like the, what was it called? The arena or something? No, it was not the arena. You, you're very much welcome, Panhead. 
there are also other places you can grind in uh, in the in the world here like um, one is the decaying mine which is here you just teleport to this spot here and you enter the decaying mine and you keep running all the way through the decaying mine and you're gonna go get to places with a lot of mobs and a lot of mobs always drop a lot of money then you can also it's also possible to grind here but the drops are going to be low concerning money and it's also possible to grind here in the grassland um, and then there is another important thing that I should tell you about um, as soon as you have the cloak of honor from voting which I really do recommend and um, a, a 200 stated IP set you, which you can buy for 150 parent um, a clean one at least and that means one and a half days of grinding which is not a lot then you will have um, some lucky box from from the cloak and the lucky box from from the standard IP set and that means that um, if you have that you can also go and grind some red chips because the lucky box is not going to influence um, the amount of money that one one mob drops it's going to influence the amount of other stuff that the mobs drop so for instance sunstones or if you go to farm red chips it's going to um, it's going to it's going to influence the amount of red chips that the mobs drop how do you get to the red chips farming island it's the same island as this but you need another blink wing and you will also get it from a buff pang all right so Next, uh, the next important thing is that you can um, sell those um, red chips and you can sell one red chip for 100k and um, 10,000 red chips for 10 parent and that's a lot of money but it's better to have the lucky box from this set and the lucky box from from the cloak of honor because then you'll have a lot more drops and there is one thing that I would like to stress again and that's the party you do need a full party because if it's full it's gonna give you more damage and they need to have the skills active like this party now it doesn't have the skills active anymore they disappeared from here so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to leave this party and I'm just gonna join another one the other thing that you can do is you can actually you can actually just um, say please use skills our skills on and they will probably use the skills yeah and you should be level 300 to grind here that's really important concerning skills I would recommend that you use the blizzard skill to lure them in and the Eva storm to finish them off it looks like this it's pretty cool and use the skill slot see I'm pressing F2 and now I, I draw I what I did is draw this one over here and then you can use it here with other with other characters you can have other skills alright guys I think you all gonna have a lot of fun um, grinding here and getting a lot of money and getting really rich and um, being able to use that money to maybe make another character like a slayer or a crack shooter or a I don't know a mentalist can be anything um, that you can use um, and go cove running do cove runs with that first but first you're gonna need money to do to get awesome equipment otherwise you're not gonna be able to get that equipment and it's um, I think that's this is a great way of achieving that of getting that kind of money to get awesome equipment so um, I hope you like this guide and if you did please subscribe to my channel or if you want you can leave some comments and um, if you want you can also send me stuff in game in order to support me um, and if you do so I am maybe gonna <laughs> reward you with a, 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 witty, a video dedicated to you <laughs> alright whatever guys I hope, I hope um, that helped you a little bit and um, I'm gonna see you in game soon bye guys